Hey everyone, what's going on? Jim Berenger here. Let's talk pucks. Let's talk sports. The Devils recap. How about those New Jersey Devils? Eight in a row, finding different ways to win, carrying the momentum over from the Western Canada road trip. A road trip they swept for the first time in God knows how long. By the way, go check out Full Press Hockey. They're number three on my power rankings. Can't move them up. Why? Because the Boston Bruins and Vegas Golden Knights continue doing well. And those, those are the two best teams in the league right now. But New Jersey playing hot right now and winning in different ways. It's getting uglier uh, these last couple of games, especially against the Flames at home coming back. Uh, you know, the first game back after a road trip, you expect the first period to be ugly. But New Jersey playing well. You know, it's been, you know, a really good stretch for the Devils right now. They're finding different ways to win. Leadership stepping up. Nico Heischer, six-game point streak, four goals over that streak. He's got seven on the season. He's playing really well. Uh, you know, he's really stepped up his game. He's developed his shot. He's... You know, just look like a natural leader. And the Devils are with the attitude, the mindset of why not us and why not now. Come in with the right mindset in the training camp. Sick of losing, tired of losing. Miles Wood said after the first game, he did, he's tired of losing. David Severson, you heard it last year, said he was tired of losing. Didn't want to be, it sucks. He said if, if they were in the same situation this coming off season, at the end of the season, it'd be a major disappointment. You know, the veteran leadership they brought in. The trades that Tom Fitzgerald made. The Devils are playing together as a team and everybody understands their role on this team. You got the energy line of Miles Wood, Nate Bastian, and Michael McLeod. That BMW line, they strike again that line. They, they bring in the heat now. Uh, as I said, Nico, he sure looks good. The goaltending, which was going to be a question mark this year, has really looked good. Though Vitek Vanacek left this game with a head injury. Uh, neck injury, it, it, they, the devil said it, it was not an NHL spider, but precaution. He played the third period for most of it, but came out with about maybe five, six minutes left in the period. Akira Schmid comes in. Man, let's talk about what this kid has done since he came into this game. Robbed the Ottawa Senators in overtime probably three, four times. The Sens missed the net a bunch of times, but you know what? He was in the right position to Rob Stusla, Giroux, everybody in between. This allows the Devils to go the other way, kill off a penalty to John Marino, which was a slash. You know, some questionable calls tonight, but you know what? The Devils overcame that stuff. Schmid makes the big saves. Guess what? Jack Hughes goes the other way. There's a penalty. Boom. Five seconds into the power play. Goal of Dougie Hamilton. Game over. Devils win 4-3. So, you know, New Jersey found different ways to win games tonight. And they found another way to win after blowing a lead, coming back. And then, you know, blowing another lead early in the third period. It was a slow game, but the pesky sends always give the Devils problems. And, you know, what? good on the Devils for stepping up, having another character win, finding different ways to win hockey games, because that's what you're going to do, especially come the playoffs. You know what? You know, after what happened the first two games, Fire Lindy and everything, you know what? This team has stepped up for them because they knew their game was right there because that wasn't the team everybody expected. It's going to be interesting now because they're handling a lot of adversity now, especially with their goaltending, similar to what Vegas did in their first year. Hopefully Vanacek's not out long because he's been playing really well. They have Schmid. Do they want to bring up Dawes? Are they going to go get somebody? Laurent Prasois on waivers, so you never know. The Devils could go get him just as a backup plan if Vanacek's out for a long time because you got um, Mackenzie Blackwood with a sprained knee three to six weeks. He's out. Palat's out eight to ten weeks after groin surgery. And the Devils are just figuring out ways to win, and their lineup's working right now, and it's clicking. So you don't want to make changes. Defensively, they look good. Um, you know, Severson is, is what he is, especially in his role. But again, everybody has a role on this team. Yes, Brad's cooled off a little bit, but you know what? He, he's right there. Jack Hughes is about to break out, man. He is right there. And imagine if he had a finisher because this kid have more points right now. So... Things are coming for New Jersey little by little, but another character win to make it eight in a row for the New Jersey Devils who sit in first place in the Metro Division. Who would have thought of that? Jim Barringer here. Let's talk pucks. See you soon.